Hello, in this video I'm going to show you some of the new features and changes of the note edit view. So here we have a note of a fake patient. I'm going to go ahead and right click and go into edit mode of the note. As you can see it pops up in a new window just like always. So here are some of the new icons that are above the main section. The first one is to add a form top. So rather than having to right click on these you can still do that. And now you can go ahead and just click on the button. It'll give you the note form selector which will allow you to add that. So that's a nice shortcut. The next icon is a text template. If you're using text templates, all you have to do is click on it and now it will add a text template here if you have any in your specialty. The next one is add image to the top. So if I'm out in the procedure section and I want to add an image, I can go ahead and click on the icon. I'll get the image selector pop up, come up, and I can choose, for example, in this case, I'll choose ear left, hit OK, and there's the image, and I can go ahead and edit, add drawings to this picture or whatever I feel like doing. And then if I want to remove it, all I have to do is come back to the left, right click it, and delete it. The next icon is the add content set. We're going to be making a video later on describing how to do that. And then finally, the last icon is to remove the entry. Over on the right, there's a couple of new icons as well. This first one is what's called macros. We'll be making a video on how to do macros later. And then the other two are task and then the menu item, which you can just click on it and see the menu options that you have available to you. One of the features as well is the inline view, and you can get the inline view by clicking up at the top right, the arrow pointing down the tile button, and when you click on this, what it does is it opens up a new section for the note. Now you may have to move it over if you're not normally using this, but you can move it over and glide it as far as you want. And now this, what this does, it gives you the option to view part of the clinical desktop, for example, other notes in the chart viewer, problems, meds, orders, et cetera, et cetera. Allows you to look at that while you're looking at the edit view of the note. One of the changes in the edit view of the note is the, a new look in the note section that resembles the note view. In the past, after you've been done editing, if you wanted to look to see what the note view would come out like, you'd click on view and you could see everything you've added in the note view. Now you can actually see this while you're in the edit mode. Right now I have chief complaint selected. If I wanted to edit it, there it is, I can edit it. If I want to see what it looks like once I've done editing it, I can just click on chief complaint again, and now it shows me what it looks like in the note view. I can do the same thing for every single one of these sections here. Here's review of systems, here's the edit portion of review of systems, the form itself. If I click on it again, there it is in the note view. If I click on active problems, there are the problems that I have selected. If I click on active problems again, now I can see it in a note view. The same thing goes for every single one of these other sections. Every time I click on it, I get the edit portion of that note. Once I click on it again, it goes to the note view. It's just basically a toggle back and forth. As you can see, every single section. In the physical exam as well, everything. The procedure, there's the note view. The plan, there's the note view. Even in the return to work school item, the letters that we write for patients, you can see the edit portion of it. If I click on it again, this is what it will print out. So these are all the new features and look of the note edit view.